let's see what is um, coming your way. And we do have the Four of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. We are holding on to a soulmate for our dear life, right? And I'm using a, a combined deck. Um, it's Crystal Vision, right? And I have two decks. So kind of a little bit of trouble shuffling. Um, Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Oh my God, firm foundation, right? We want to build something or we want it. And uh, probably the, the uh, commitment is now nice. We are not talking to each other. Four of Swords is I need time, I need space. I need peace of mind. And we are stuck, Wheel of Fortune. So that is our current situation. <laughs> I know. So let's change a bit. The energy is Knight of Swords in reverse with the Four of Pentacles. Again, the energy of stuck. I know. It's kind of a double stack. You are stuck, they are stuck. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what exactly the energy is. We have the devil in reverse. We have the three of wands in reverse and the six of wands. So what's going on? <laughs> what is going on, Virgo? This is the energy of, I thank God the devil energy is over. You might feel ashamed and with no expectations at, at this point. But nonetheless, the devil, nonetheless, the devil. Capricorn energy, of course, but I'm kind of sensing that we are, uh, um, it feels like a low vibe, uh, Virgo, I don't know what's going on. I see you working on it. The devil in reverse is a bit of effort. It is really, you know, doing what the necessary spiritual work in order to push away this um, shame. I wonder why are you ashamed of? You know, there is no shame in loving somebody and the situation turns like explosive um, and ugly. Um, you know, it's just life, right? Um, and no expectations, three of wands. So let's see. Past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Let's have current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with and mutual, and you get three again. Seven of Wands, I didn't take it and now it comes back again. Seven of Wands, we might be either stop, either we stop fighting, I either, we'll see before we jump to conclusions. So we're going in the past, um, King of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles in reverse, you are in your energy, yes, but the situation was out of balance. We were not in a connection where this person reciprocated whatever you brought to the table. It was unfair, it was unjust. Um, a decision was not made, so I'm pretty sure it kind of lasted and probably that is why we have and the devil and the shame card, right? Because maybe we stood too much in a situation um, and I feel you are the provider, you are the one that was stable, you show up here with your full strength, with your full energy and um, you know because you were uh, strong in this you said probably to yourself you know what I have to keep going. Um, this is the energy of um, no matter what I can bring some balance to it, no matter what I can uh, you know make the situation to have some roots of some sort. Now, the person you are dealing with, um, they have the Nine of Wands in reverse and the King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy, but a lot of coldness and um, Nine of Wands in reverse. It's, um, you know, um, an energy of uh, being courteous and needing their time to heal also. Um, it is the energy of abandoning, right? Nine of Wands is the, pers is the Perseverance card in reverse. It's I'm done, 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 and I kind of give up, probably in a very cold way, um, with the King of Swords. It's um, the energy of detachment, right? It's the energy of I'm going to cut whatever um, no longer serves me. And, um, and they start fighting. Mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the Eight of Cups, Page of Pentacles in reverse, and the Chariot in reverse, Cancer, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, your energy. But we walked away, right? Eight of Cups. That does look like a mutual agreement. Um, 
but um, it's um, kind of a normal decision that came after not really uh, having something uh, to give anymore and after a sense of stuck in a situation. And uh, it kind of feels for God that you are not at that point, right, ready to. Um, but somebody here became, um, you know, kind of um, time for me to go. There is nothing left for me here, you know, very brainy, cold, detached kind of decision, right? I give up and, and that's it. Now, um, where are we right now? Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Four of Swords. <laughs> the universe cannot <laughs> say in so many ways. We are not moving for now. Uh, we are not seeing progress. It's, it's an energy of stagnation, but it's a good stagnation, right? Every time we see the Four of Swords, Virgo is the energy of thinking, of contemplating, of planning, of strategizing. It's the energy of, um, you know, using your mind to understand what happened um, and also deal with the energy of, of your energy upside down, right? Um, it is developing a plan. It is developing a vision. It is... Um, you know, after finally understanding what happened, you know, taking the time for yourself is the energy of resting and rejuvenating, is the energy of yoga, by the way, meditation, um, you know, practices of, uh, of healing, self-healing, however, um, you know, however you apply um, this in your life. Now, this person of yours, uh, they do have the um, two of cups and the four of pentacles in reverse. Right, is the energy of um, is the energy of taking a chance, taking a risk, and with the energy of love. So, if the, your question was, do they still love me? We have the answer. We have the two of cups, um, but we also have the four of pentacles in reverse, which is the energy of I've been very protective of, about myself. I'm willing now to take a chance. Right, that's a four of pentacles. I'm willing to take a chance, take a risk. And uh, mutual energies, of course, unfinished business, but also wanting to put the conflict to bed. We have the five of wands in reverse. We want the struggle to um, stop. We want to have peace of mind. We want to understand what's going on. Scorpio energy also with the death in reverse. But it's also this energy of uh, this connection didn't um, end properly or the cycle was one that is... Um, still in the works and uh, we can do better right that's a death in reverse um, and closing a cycle can be in so many ways right doesn't mean letting go of a person um doesn't mean staying and continuing to be with a person just naturally allowing the flow of things so this is the two of cups for them and this is um you fighting right Mutual uh, energy is coming your way. For go, we do have justice and the five of swords. So for some of you going through a divorce, this is um, this is you fighting for justice. This is you fighting for a decision, for balance, for a final decision, for an ending of some sort. Because justice is also a decision, an ending with a with a smart decision to balance things out, to allow karma to do its work. And five of swords is fighting. Right, it's fighting till the last sword. You might feel that somebody is taking advantage of you and this is where the justice energy kicks in and the decision making. So for some of you relating to this energy of betrayal, this energy of taking advantage, I, um, you know, justice is uh, coming your way and it is served and it is in your favor. This person of yours, six of wands and the eight of pentacles in reverse, this is no effort in um, the energy coming your, their way, right? This is the energy of lack of effort, this is the energy of focusing on something else, this is the energy of ego. Um, and um, also kind of letting go. And now that we, ha we see the full energy here, we do have two of cups with the four of pentacles in reverse. Yes to love, no to effort and holding on to and fighting for. And the energy coming their way is the energy of, of course, ego and lack of effort at this time. Energy is coming your way. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. We have two feminine energies here. So there might be options on the table for them, for you. Might be people between you and your person. Somebody here has the energy of family. 
um, can be another person but can also be you know uh, relatives um, important people standing between you and your person queen of swords queen of wands with the ten of pentacles somebody has a family here somebody goes back to a family uh, somebody goes back either to a mom to somebody important to um, you know a husband a wife um, and um, yeah I'm just saying that is a sense of giving up for now here Virgo there's a sense of giving up and it's a sense of healing that comes with it there's a sense of uh, lacking expect expectations and we don't want that ship to come home that's the three of wands in reverse this is a no thank you right so if you are dealing with somebody who has a significant other or is entangled in God knows what energy is, I would say, we know, right? We fight for justice. We we do what's right and we move on. That's a justice with the five of swords. Um, it is a little bit of action coming your way because right now it's a, it has a sense of stagnation, it has a sense of you making sense of what's going on trying to understand because the death in reverse is the energy of really breaking up without really having a proper mature discussion about um, and um, you know we still hang on to the energy of, of conflict till we figure out and we have a little bit of movement and we have movement in the right direction five of swords and justice it is the right direction maybe not the one you want right maybe not the one you want but it, the one that is um that you are guided towards at this time and whatever out of balance we started in the past with the six of pentacles in reverse right um so kind of the universe reminding you it was unfair it was unjust you were the one providing and being stable um and nurturing this connection and now it's time we understand something from it and we fight for justice out of it however uh, justice applies to to you at this time now let's ask for some guidance we do have heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other so we are heart to heart we have a discussion then we have engagement right your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and we do have healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive somebody can be this person can be your family can be a parent can be anybody so i feel that the commitment is required i'm not feeling that uh, this connection moves forward at this time virgo but it is um it's kind of the universe asking you to commit to a good conversation a healing conversation with them we do have five of swords five of wands so um you know there might be a type of conflict that we need to you know heal through uh, a, a conversation deep conversation we do have distorted masculine we have heart to heart conversations and distorted masculine so the masculine energy of this commitment might um you know have issues at this time and a good conversation might um ease um everything out we do have be in the present and dream of the future when we dream everything is possible be in the present and dream of the future and we have compatibility healing family issues and healing compatibility kind of like the universe saying you are not compatible we were not at the same vibe at the same frequency we are not in the same energy together right and it's about time for us to do something else there after a good conversation now let's have some general advice here we do have nurture as you nurture a child you nurture your own inner child both activities are important for you right now so you need to nurture yourself again the guidance we receive is please nurture yourself please take care of yourself and the inner child that just got hurt we do i am so not surprised for go we do have let go of guilt when you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done and trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. 
I just love this. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. We do have prayer and contemplation. Connect with heaven, ask, and you shall receive, Virgo. Right? Manifestation. Ask and you shall receive. Nurture yourself. Let go of guilt. Manifest. We do have integrity. Align your actions so that they match your values and inner knowings of what's right for you. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, we have call to action. Take charge, lead by example, walk your talk. And it's interesting, um, Virgo, because we have two different, right? We have two different um, energies from two different decks and they are kind of saying one and the same, right? Align your actions so that they match your values and inner knowings of what's right for you. And we have take charge, lead by example, walk the talk. Align your actions with your values and walk the talk walk your talk so that is something some food for thought there there is something that we need to be aware of um manifestation and alignment right and uh, we move on baby i know we move on here this is the guidance we receive um so hey you know i love you right i wish you nothing but the best i want to do stay strong and safe and come see me next time love you take care